Welcome everyone back to another video. Today, the the grind's really gonna start because um on July first, which is Thursday, no July second, which is Thursday, I'm gonna be going up to um my mountains where I made a few videos last month, and I'm gonna be camping for a week. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make a lot of pre-recorded videos. I was really grinding out thumbnails last night, so I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go, and uh, I just need to make the home run there and get some more stuff done. So, my top ten favorite New York Rangers. The Rangers. I never really had the problem. I never really had a problem with this team, but then again, they are they are a flyer, a, a, a rival. I can't talk this morning. Apparently, they are a rival of the Philadelphia Flyers. So they're not tending to be in the top ten or the top five of my favorite teams. I'd say they're in the middle. I've liked them a lot more ever since we started the channel. So number ten, I have Alexander Georgiev and Ge and I'm gonna say Georgiev. And goaltenders are pretty common with the Rangers. There are a lot of Rangers goalies that I like. So there you go. Georgiev, one of my favorite goaltenders in twenty in twenty eighteen nineteen. Uh, didn't do too well that season, though, so I think he's in the AHL right now. But his number nine is actually probably going to be moving up in the list very quickly. So, number nine is Igor Sushurkin. Um, Igor, for me, has not played enough for the Rangers for me to be like, okay, this, for me to, like, specifically like him a lot. So, I'm still warming up to him a little bit. And as the days go on and as the seasons go on, he's probably going to move up in this list. At number eight, you have Capo Caco. Capo Caco selected second overall by the Rangers in the 2019 draft. Um, he's played amazing for the team. He's played better than Jack Hughes, in fact. And it makes me really happy to see him develop. At number seven, you have Adam Fox. Adam Fox is a part of a Carolina Hurricanes trade that sent him here. I think he was drafted by the Flames, though. So. Or the, he, he, I think he was drafted by the Hurricanes. So he was drafted by someone else. But any, anyway, one of the best defensemen I've seen play for the Rangers team in the entire time that I've watched him. So, at number six, you have Matt Zuccarello. Matt Zuccarello, before he went to Minnesota in 2019, 20, 2017, 18, 2018, 19, he was one of my favorite, one of my favorite players in the Rangers. But as he started, but when he left, he kind of, he kind of went up a little bit. So, at number five, you have Kevin Shattenkirk, um, also one of my favorite Rangers before he left to go to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, it's it's just like when a team wait for a lot of players, when a team when they leave for another team, they usually go up on the list. So, that's why I don't have some players on the Flyers and such. At number four, you have Chris Kreider. Kreider, one of my favorite uh, Rangers defensemen of all time. Very good shooter, very good skater. At number three, you have Henrik Lundqvist. Henrik Lundqvist is, of course, the goaltender of the team, or is, I think the start. I think is the backup. Um, Henrik needs a cup. I think that around now is where you're gonna get your last chance to try and get him a Stanley Cup. If you don't get him it this year, he's he, hate to say it, but I don't think he's gonna win one. At number two, you have Mika Zibanejad. Mika Zibanejad, famous for his five goal, for his five goal night a few months ago. Um, I think it was a month, like a few days before the season ended, and he's just been an absolute stud for the past three years that I'm watching him. At number one, you have Artemi Panarin. When Panarin signed with this team, Panarin was one of my favorite Blue Jackets, Blue Jackets, anyways. So I was, so I was thinking, okay, well, it's not really gonna change. Nothing's really gonna change when he goes to the Rangers. I mean, we had I had Zibanejad at number one um, back in 2019 before Panarin came in, and then he boosted up to number one. So it's it's just that like some of my favorite players when they go to other teams, they become my favorite player on that team, even though they might not do very well on that team or specifically last long on that team. That goes to show with a lot of minor league players so yeah that is my top 10 new york rangers thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like hit that subscribe button we're trying to get to 300 
by the end of the year. Uh, we're only 80, 83 subs away from reaching the goal. So thank you guys for the constant support. Um, and do make sure to share the channel if you, if you would like to. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.